Welcome to Castle Class Presents Rule 20. I'm your guide, Corey Longnecker. Welcome to class uh, number 10, our last and final class for the foreseeable future. Um, we've got baby number two on the way, and yeah, time is about to get pretty tight for me. So I think this is going to be a good wrap-up of some of the cool features in Rule 20. Um, this is one I've just found recently, and I'm really, really excited about it. I've used it already as a DM and it's just made my life so much easier. Um, as much as I like Roll20, there's so many cumbersome features, especially like way to deal with character sheets, leveling up, um, setting things up that way. I know they're trying to make it easier with their like character mancer and stuff, but D&D Beyond is so much more elegant and so much easier, and I've already bought all the content in D&D Beyond, so I don't wanna buy it again in Roll20 to make it that much easier. So this add-in is called Beyond 20, and it's for Firefox or Chrome. And what it does is allows you to open up a character sheet or a monster sheet or an NPC stat block, and you can roll by clicking onto that, and it will roll for you in Roll20. Um, so your players can have their character sheets open in D&D Beyond, have their tokens moving around in Roll20, and as they play, they only need to maintain their stats and everything in D&D Beyond. And Roll20 simply just becomes the virtual tabletop. Uh, and their token becomes a mini. They move around. Um, and you can still add the macros and do the things you want to do. Some of them become obsolete. Things like long rest or um, healing potions, things like that. They aren't useful really anymore because you're not tracking stats within Roll20 anymore. Um, things like conditions and wild shape and torch, all of those are still going to be functional and useful. Um, but if you if you do have D and B Beyond like I do, and you have all of the content, um, it's really helpful to be able to do it that way. Or if you're DM and you have all the content and you want your players to be able to make cooler characters and not have to import them, um, they can do it this way as well. So let me show you a couple of things here. All right, let me just make some windows a little bit bigger for you guys, and we'll see some fun stuff here. Okay, so let me make these windows a little more manageable, and you can see a couple of things. All I really want you to see is the chat over here, my token here, and then um, the screen over here. So what we've got is really easy it's beyond 20 i'll give you the link in the description um you click on install you click here if you have chrome you click here if you have firefox you install the add-in and it's gonna add a little icon like this um, somewhere in your display bar to let you know that it's that it's there um sometimes it's hidden i think i've got mine turned off but yeah so let's show you what happens so after you've installed it which i already have you go to your D&D Beyond character sheet. Here's a character I'm playing, Everil. Um, let's say Quill over here is actually named Everil, uh, just, just for the ease of things. Let's say I need Quill slash Everil to make a strength saving throw. I click here. You'll see right here it says Beyond 20. So I click it. You'll see a strength saving throw, the character's name here, and the advantage-disadvantage roll. Pretty cool. Say I want to cast a spell. Um, we can do that. So let's go over here. Uh, you already see an icon popped up. Handy. So let's say I want to click uh, Firebolt. Here you'll see cast on roll 20. You'll see display in roll 20. So if maybe I just want to say what's, what's the spell do? Boom. There's Firebolt and it gives me the options to click on stuff. Kind of cool. Um, so I'm going to cast it. So I, the way we play, I always roll advantage, and on the left is your normal roll. So I rolled a 15, and if that's successful, 14 damage. Um, kind of neat. So that's kind of cool. Um, what else do we have here? Let me make this a little bit smaller so you can see the... There we go. So it's rolling everything for you, uh, which is super helpful. Maybe I want to roll... Uh, told the dead. First I'm going to display it. 
Tells me everything that it does. Now I want to cast it. I need them to make a DC 14 wisdom save, and it's going to do 11 damage. Really, really cool stuff. Um, I can track then my hit points here within roll 20. I don't have to worry about tracking them in... Or I'm sorry, in D&D &D Beyond, I don't have to worry about tracking them in roll 20. Um, I can do all my long rests and short rests, so it'll reset all of my spell slots. I can manage my spells easily here, and especially as new books come out and there are new options for spells or subclasses or things like that, all of it's maintained and managed here, and all I have to do in roll 20 is use it as my tabletop. As a streamer, um, that makes my life so much easier. So... I cannot speak highly enough of Beyond 20. Um, it, it's, it's made my game so much easier. And especially, uh, let me pop over here real quick just to show you the, um, let's see if I can do it from, here we go, Encounter Builder. So what you can do is within here, let me just grab, let's say I've got one called, class and I've got a oh, so let's say they're fighting a black dragon this is gonna be fun for them um, no let me go back edit that I don't know why I didn't edit there we go so now let me save it I've got a black dragon um, I need to play so let's say I've got my uh, black dragon I'm going to take a look here. I want to play it. So if I view on the details page, here's all my stats for the dragon, and I can click, and they will show up in roll 20. If I want to make a bite attack, there's my bite attack. If I want to do an acid breath, and I just want to roll it, um, I can just click here. So they'll have to make a DC 11 dexterity saving throw, and there's the damage. If I want to make a dex save for them, there's my dex save. If I want to make, or I'm sorry, dex is down here. There's my dex save. Uh, I need to make a perception check as the dragon. It's there. All the cool stuff um, is, already, <laughs> is already there. And I can just keep it in the encounter builder and just add things and, and click the details page and go throw off of it. So... Highly suggest you go out and run it. Great add-in. It's completely changed the way I've, I've streamed and played D&D &D online. I um, want to thank all of you for joining me throughout this journey. Um, hopefully we'll have time after Baby 2 to pick back up with some new tools and see what D&D &D Beyond and Roll20 have in store for us. So, thank you for joining. Class is over. <laughs>